Hey YouTube, it's me, Spotty. Hope you're all doing great. Welcome to another weekly Cubing Topicals. Today we're going to be answering a question from Cubic Cubes, and he asks, How do you find inspiration to make videos? So, when doing YouTube, I think there are a lot of important things, but two of them are inspiration and motivation. I'm going to talk about motivation first and leave inspiration for last. But in terms of motivation, a lot of newer YouTubers quit YouTube because they lose motivation. And I've got a couple of thoughts on that. The first is, if you don't want to do YouTube, then don't do YouTube. Let me explain what I mean. If making videos is just really difficult or you just don't like making videos in general, then don't do YouTube. I mean, YouTube should be something fun you do, something that you look forward to, not something that you have to do. So if you don't want to do it, then just don't. In saying that, if you're just lazy and you don't want to put out a video that week, then just keep in mind that consistency is important in YouTube. And if you want to continue with YouTube, then just, yeah, just remember that consistency is important. And if your audience is expecting a video or if you have a schedule, then try to stick to it. But, you know, where do I find motivation? There are a couple of things that really motivate me to do YouTube. And the first is that I just like making videos in general and I like trying to improve my content. And when I get a good response, like I get views or likes or whatever, or I get your good feedback, then it's really motivating, especially if I know I put hard work into this video and people are liking it, then that really keeps me motivated to make more content and improve it. But along with that is what doesn't get me motivated and that's focusing too much on the numbers. It's nice to see the numbers when you're doing well, but when you're not doing so well or you're not growing as fast as you like, you're not getting the views, whatever, then it's really unmotivating. It's really disheartening to focus on the numbers. So try not to focus on the numbers that much. It's difficult. Yeah, I know. So yeah, your feedback keeps you motivated. Just liking making videos in general keeps you motivated. And not focusing on the numbers helps me be motivated more often than less. The second thing is inspiration. And inspiration is sort of harder because, you know, people find inspiration from different places. But where I find inspiration from is from other people's videos. And a lot of people's videos, people with bigger channels especially, but also people with smaller channels, really inspire me to make better content. I mean, make higher quality content and make content that people really enjoy watching. They don't even necessarily have to be cubing. Like, lots of tech channels I find are really awesome to get like different shots or whatever and I know I'm just starting out but watching tech channels with really awesome high quality videos sort of inspire me to try and improve my content. But finding actual inspiration to what content you should make then you can come up with your own ideas but if you're not really that creative like me then looking at other people's content sort of um, can give you ideas for your own. Don't copy other people's content. That's not, what I, that's not what I'm trying to say. But if you like a video that somebody else did, then put your own spin on it. And I'm sure people will support your content and give you a more positive response. But don't copy other people's content because that's really annoying. Like the 10 things that every non-cuber says or whatever, that's been done so many times that it's just annoying when somebody releases a video like that unless it's actually got different stuff in it. Otherwise, you can stick to really cliche things but still interesting to watch like the unboxings, reviews, mains and goals videos, competition videos, um, souls with commentaries. Those are really like the main videos that every cubing channel has at least one of. But either way, try to be creative. Um, don't copy other people's content and you can get inspiration from them. Like my Does Price Effect performance got a lot of inspiration from Crazy Bad. But yeah, that's all I've got to say. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, feel free to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to be notified of future content. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.